Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. This reading will be approximately the period 26th of July through to the 1st of August and will be for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Please remember the readings are only general. If the reading does not resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. Remember the readings flip-flop too. Um, if the reading does resonate, please give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed yet, love to have you on board. All right, I'm using the Everyday Witches Tarot for your reading. Hmm. You have a new offer on the table here. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I have the Three of Swords coming out. Now, the Three of Swords talks about heart pain, having, um, you know, maybe a broken relationship, maybe a situation where you've um, been hurt. Uh, saying in my teeth. How funny. Um, you may have I've probably done two or three readings with something in my teeth. That's the trouble when you live alone. No, it tells you you've got something in your teeth. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Okay, so some sort of heart pain here you've been through. So you've had your heart broken. It looks like you've done your healing. You could have um, had some sort of situation that came and went very quickly. Sometimes this can be like a one night stand or a very short stint of a relationship and there's been some sort of hurt or pain that's come as a, come as a result of that. The Six of Wands is here. So what this tells me, whoever you have this fling with, if you've had a fling with someone or an occurrence with someone or a quick passing of someone and felt something very strong or something very potent, I feel like this person felt the same way. There's this very strong energy here that someone's recognised something in you that they haven't seen before. Okay, so there's a closing out of some sort of cycle here. Ah, Someone is closing out another relationship with someone else we've got the past life soulmate card here someone's closing out a relationship with someone else to come towards you here okay i'll just write down that i'm just doing your reading i keep notes of it so i can upload them all all right so we have the magician coming through so the magician is a card that talks about being able to manifest and I feel like this is what you've been doing here because I felt really strongly that you've been trying to bring somebody back in. Somebody here that you've had some sort of encounter with, you know, you may have felt very, very strongly about this person, but I feel that perhaps they were married or in another situation. And I feel that this person felt exactly the same way. So there's this strong feeling that something here exchanged between two of you. And because we have the Six of Cups coming through, there's a recognition of some sort of past life love here. Um, and this is saying that you've been trying to manifest more from this, but I do think that this person was in another situation or possibly went in a different direction. But you've never given up on it, nor have they. All right. So we have the Page of Wands coming through here. So there's some sort of message coming through, some sort of information. Maybe you're getting information from someone that this person has become single or has left another situation here. There's a change in the other person's circumstances, which is something that perhaps you've... Um, let's just keep going. I feel, look, two of cups. So you have definitely got some sort of soulmate relationship here. Every now and again, this drives me mad, this because it goes black see then you wipe, wipe your hand over it i don't know why all right wheel of fortune coming through something has changed here i feel like you met someone maybe a while back and maybe it was only a brief encounter maybe you only had a very short relationship it could have been an affair or a fling but whatever this was it really it really hit home with you it really made you Feel, you fell in love with this person very, very quickly. There's a very strong feeling here that you've been trying to manifest them back in. I feel that you're going to get some sort of information from somebody that this person is actually either single now or has left a relationship. 
Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. So maybe you've expected this person to come back into your life. There's a tower here. Okay. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. This person's coming back in to offer you something here. So if this is your story, I would say that you've been waiting quite a while for this person to come back. And I feel that you felt the connection from the beginning. There's some sort of karmic return here. Um, some sort of energy that somebody being returned to you. And I feel that it's brought the tower down with you. Maybe some of you have already moved into another situation. Um, but this person's coming back and you will learn now that they felt the same way. Okay, we have the devil energy coming through here. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn, Aquarius. Now, we also have the Three of Pentacles here. Which still gives rise to the fact that this may still be a third party situation. All right, and the card we have at the end is the Emperor. Okay, I feel like whoever this is, you met someone some time ago. You had some sort of very short lived romance with them, fell totally in love with them, but I think that they were already committed to another situation. I feel in the meantime, you may have moved into a situation yourself and this person has just become single. I feel like you're going to hear from someone that this person is single again and you're going to want to explore it again because the tower's here. So I feel it's sort of... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I sort of feel that you waited for this person. You may have waited for this person for some time thinking they were going to return and they didn't. And I think then perhaps you gave up here and went you, and got yourself involved with someone else. And this person is back. And I feel like they're single and they're ready to, to get something started with you here. So I feel quite strongly either they don't know that you've moved into another relationship or they're just taking a chance on trying to, to come to you. But you're definitely getting communication from this person. I feel that this person may be a divine masculine. So they may be someone that you had this really strong connection with that felt the connection too. So it's very possible this person and you are soulmates, twin flames, that sort of energy here. Where someone is returning because they've realised that what they want is a life with you. But I feel strongly that some of you may have moved on to another relationship here. I'm going to pinch another card. Yeah, the Hermit and the Five of Wands. There's a lot of energy of having to think out what direction to go here. A lot of energy of trying to make up your mind what you want. You've got the choice now. And there's a very strong feeling that the choice, um, the choice has to be made. And you had such a strong connection with this last person. I think you're going to find this very difficult, a very difficult choice. Uh, let's get an oracle card for you. Okay, you've got the card of yin. All right, so I want to say to you, yin is the card of no action. Just waiting, waiting out your time. Um, it's the feminine energy. Just sitting in your own energy and waiting. So let's see what it says here. Uh, the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking cues, the art of conscious allowing. So they're talking about you being graceful about accepting that the other person needs to make the moves. Don't follow anything up. Just wait your time. It's coming. Thanks, Aquarius. 